Hello. We'd like to introduce you to the Handy Spray line of spray systems for applying Corrosion X and other liquids. Handy Spray systems are manufactured by Corrosion Technologies and are among the most cost effective, trouble free, and easy to use spray systems available today. Unlike complicated air motor sprayers costing thousands of dollars, Handy Spray systems have virtually no moving parts and are guaranteed against defects in workmanship for life. The U.S. military and government contractors have purchased hundreds of these systems, which are now in use all around the world. Handy Spray systems come in three sizes, a one-quart belt pack, a two-and-a-half-gallon system with a 10-foot hose, and a five-gallon system with a 25-foot hose. No matter which system you choose, their operation is exactly the same. The only difference between the systems is their capacity and hose length. The regulator and control head components are identical. One of the most popular features of these systems is their portability. The belt pack fits into a holster that comes with the system and a web belt that's also supplied. The two and a half gallon system has a convenient thigh high handle for carrying without bending and the five gallon system is easily rolled on heavy duty wheels. Handy spray systems are available with a selection of specially designed wands and application tips. Even though they were developed specifically for use on aircraft, you will find they are equally efficient for treating other types of vehicles and equipment. Standard and optional wands include an 8 foot by quarter inch diameter straight rod with a 360 degree spray pattern, a 6 foot by 3 16 inch diameter straight rod with a 90 degree directional spray pattern, a 3 foot by quarter inch diameter rod with a 360 degree spray, a highly versatile 36 inch flexible wand with a plume like pattern called the Superflex wand, a 5 inch by 1 8 inch diameter hook wand for spraying through rivet and weep holes, and a typical paint sprayer type nozzle that we call the Cricut wand. In general, the larger diameter wands are for treating large areas quickly. The smaller ones are for treating smaller areas or where access is limited. The Superflex wand is used to spray around objects in areas where 360 degree rotation is required or to treat cavities that can't be accessed without going through a bend. If you require a non-standard wand, our engineering department can work with you to design the ideal wand for almost any application. You'll see how these wands work as we go through the demonstration. Before we get started, let's take a minute to talk about safety. Unlike many traditional corrosion inhibitors, Corrosion X is non-flammable. It does not contain any volatile organic compounds, the extenders or diluents found in other corrosion inhibitors, which can harm the environment and dilute the product. Inhalation of any chemical should be avoided. We recommend spraying in an open, well-ventilated area. Precautions should be taken when working in enclosed areas or in areas without proper ventilation. Since Corrosion X has an oil base, Take care to avoid treating components that are normally affected by hydrocarbons, such as oxygen fittings, some silicone rubber seals, and butyl rubber used in pressurization valves. A good rule of thumb is that if hydrocarbons like oil, fuel, or gasoline won't affect it, neither will Corrosion X. Please refer to the product container and the safety data sheet for more details. For the purpose of this particular video, our demonstration will be on an airplane. However, these same techniques are applicable regardless of what type of vehicle or equipment you may want to treat. To operate your handy spray system, simply fill the tank, attach shop air, adjust the regulator to approximately 80 PSI for spraying Corrosion X, and you're ready to go. If needed, you can adjust the volume of the spray by turning the knurled brass adjustment screw counterclockwise for a coarser spray and clockwise for a finer one. Be aware that when you adjust the spray volume, there will be a slight delay before the change in volume is reflected at the spray nozzle. To show how thoroughly and effectively the handy spray system treats an airframe, look at this aircraft tail section that was sprayed a full five minutes before this video was taken, so you can get an idea of what's going on inside enclosed areas while you're spraying. When the trigger is pulled, Corrosion X is atomized into micro droplets that fill the enclosed area with a smoke-like fog. The product stays suspended in the air for an extended period, allowing it to migrate as its unique polar bonding chemistry attracts the suspended Corrosion X to metal surfaces, almost like a magnet. 
Corrosion X creeps and seeps into joints, around rivets, screws, and bolts, until all metal surfaces are coated in an ultra-thin film. After a proper application, Corrosion X is often seen seeping out between skin laps, ensuring that it is reaching the most vulnerable areas where corrosion usually starts, around rivets. Amazingly, the final coating of Corrosion X is only about four ten thousandths of an inch thick, and that's all it takes for up to two years of protection. It's easy to use more Corrosion X than necessary. Ideally, you want to use an amount sufficient to ensure complete penetration without spraying so much that the aircraft weeps excessively. Although it certainly won't hurt anything if excess product is used, the excess is superfluous from a performance standpoint, and it will tend to weep from the aircraft long after application. If an owner complains about weeping, explain the fact that the product is penetrating thoroughly to reach unseen corrosion present in seams and around rivets. Corrosion X is harmless to paint and can be easily wiped off the aircraft's surface. Now let's turn our attention to actually treating an airplane. We have prepared the airplane beforehand, developing a strategy and application sequence for the treatment. It's always best to determine how you will attack the job before you start. You can save time by removing the inside door panels, removing access plates, wing tips, the engine cowling, and by lowering the flaps. Be sure to leave the cabin doors open to help prevent the settling of airborne material on undesired areas. Steps like these should be taken to prepare any vehicle or equipment you may be treating. Let's begin with the fuselage and specifically the engine and engine compartment. Note that we've covered only the dry vacuum pump inlet with plastic wrap. It won't be necessary to cover engine components, but avoid spraying on any belts and filters. Keep in mind that Corrosion X is an extraordinary lubricant, which can render friction-dependent components inoperative until the Corrosion X is thoroughly removed or worn off. We begin treating the engine by making an attempt to reach all areas. Moving to the other side of the engine, we continue that process. You will probably want to use the Cricut or Superflex wand for the engine, whichever you prefer. Keep in mind that there will be some dripping of product so it's a good idea to treat the lower sections first, as you will need to get under the aircraft eventually. Let's now go to the nose gear and wheel wells if it's a retractable. It's helpful to clean the area of oil and grime, if necessary, prior to application. The amount of material used will vary depending on the condition of the aircraft. If a lot of surface corrosion is present, more Corrosion X will be required as the oxidation will absorb some of the product. In order to determine proper coverage, visually inspect the treated surfaces for a slick, shiny, wet appearance. Moving to the cockpit or cabin area, remember to leave doors open while spraying to keep material from settling on leather, vinyl, or fabric inside the cabin. It's ideal to remove the floorboards if possible, but the inside belly skins can also be treated through rudder slots and inspection ports underneath. It won't take long for you to develop a feel for this process, and your efficiency will improve with practice. In most cases, access to the rear of the fuselage will be through the tail cone using the 8-foot wand or the 6-foot wand. If the tail cone is not removable, there are generally other access points that, with a little ingenuity, can serve the purpose. In the worst case, small holes can be drilled and, after treatment, closed by inserting a number 30 rivet. Be sure to cover oxygen fittings with plastic wrap when treating areas where oxygen plumbing is present. Also, pay special attention to avoid spraying on the autopilot servos. Remember, the lubricating qualities of Corrosion X can put friction-dependent components out of commission. If you should inadvertently apply Corrosion X to the servo, clean it with an appropriate solvent. Contact cleaner is good for this purpose. After treating the fuselage, let's move to the wing and tail. We mentioned the reason for working from the bottom up. This is especially true with high wing airplanes. You can expect some dripping and frequently your customers will want to see it. Both for environmental consideration and to keep your hangar tidy, it's a good technique to lay some plastic under the aircraft to catch the drips. Wing and tail application is essentially the same. For this plane, we have attached the eight foot by quarter inch diameter wand to the spray gun and we have removed the wing tips to access the interior of the wing. 
Insert the wand, usually through a lightning pole, as far into the wing as possible. You may find it easier to remove the wand from the gun, insert it into the wing, and then recouple it to the gun after insertion. Pull the trigger and slowly walk backward, pulling the wand out. Repeat the process through each lightning pole. The remainder of the wings can be treated through the inspection ports using the Superflex wand. When you complete the application, look through the lightning holes and inspection ports with a flashlight or feel inside with your fingers. The surfaces should be slick throughout. Remember, some airplanes will have autopilot servos in the wings, so be sure they are covered prior to spraying. Corrosion X will not creep into the clutches, but you must avoid spraying directly on them during treatment. The six-foot wand is specially designed with a 90-degree directional spray, so it's ideal for treating control surfaces, ailerons, flaps, rudders, and elevators. Just insert the wand into the trailing edge of the control surface behind the ribs, making sure the direction pin is facing forward. Depress the trigger while walking backward. One pass should treat the entire interior of the control surface. Treating the tail section can sometimes be more of a challenge. Each airplane is different, but often the end cap on top of the vertical fin can be removed and the wand inserted from the top. Moonies have very few inspection ports on the horizontal stabilizer, so some mechanics drill weep holes on the underside and use the hook wand. The hook wand fits through number 30 rivet holes and can be used to treat blind compartments that cannot be reached by the larger wands. It is also ideal to use, just as you would an aerosol can, for lubricating hinges, locks, pulleys, etc. In almost all cases, some trial and error is necessary to find the best route, wand, and application sequence. Your experience and familiarity with the particular aircraft being treated will determine the best approach. Remember, when treating any aircraft, vehicle equipment, or parts, your objective is to leave a haze of product on all interior surfaces. Visual inspection should reveal uniform, wet-looking surfaces without excessive dripping. Expect some dripping after proper treatment, and be prepared to simply wipe off any excess corrosion X that leaks out. One last thing to keep in mind is that paint won't adhere to surfaces treated with Corrosion X. If you anticipate painting, either do it before the Corrosion X treatment or wait at least a year after treatment before painting. If you have any questions regarding this matter, please give us a call. That's all there is to it. We've covered the basic techniques for applying Corrosion X to virtually any aircraft, vehicle, or piece of equipment. Adhering to a regular biennial Corrosion X treatment schedule will greatly extend the life of your equipment and make ongoing maintenance much easier and less expensive. At Corrosion Technologies, our first priority is to satisfy our customers. If you have questions or concerns, please call us at 1-800-638-7361 or email us at info at We're here to help.